All right, guys, we're going to do a simple but delicious pot of corn with diced ham. So for our veggies, we're going to use some green peppers. You can use um, red. I decided to use the green because it was starting to look like it was going to get a little funky. So I wanted to make sure it didn't go to waste. So that's why I used the green instead of red today. Um, you can use, uh, this is a half a cup of cilantro. Is that a half a cup? Okay, that's a cup of cilantro, I'm sorry. Um, and then a half of um, head of garlic. Okay, so these are gonna be our veggies. You can add onions, um, a half an onion if you like. I'm not gonna do it today um, just because. So if you want to, you can add an onion as well. By the way, Veronica, these were delicious. You guys, make sure you go check out um, Veronica's channel. This is like, um, I want to say like a corn fritter with cheese in the middle and i added yellow um queso queso de bola into here and it's good it's like a corn fritter it's made with um what's that corn cornmeal <laughs> yeah so go check out her channel they were delicious this is what's left um so what i'm going to do is while my dinner is cooking i am going to vacuum seal these and freeze them and keep them um, in the refrigerator that way next time i don't have to do it all over again i can just stick them in the air fryer because nothing goes to waste and that's a nice amount there still left i made a lot all right so um let's get started okay guys so to this rice i'm also going to be adding some ham I mean yes I'm also going to be adding frozen corn you can add um, canned corn whichever one you like I'm adding the um, yellow and white corn kernels because it's what I have so this is what I'll be using but like I say you can use canned corn it's up to you and um, this is also from ShopRice, $2.99. It's a diced ham. You guys seen it in prior videos. I love to use it in my beans and in my rice. So um, this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna start off by using some vegetable oil in my, to my pot so I can start frying up my ham. I'm gonna use like about, uh, I don't know, one third of a cup. You don't need that much. It was about, a little less than this cucharero than this spoon all right guys so just let this fry up And then we'll come back to it. I'm gonna add my garlic. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna add my green pepper. And make sure at this time your um, stove is at a high heat. When I was frying my ham, I kept my stove between a seven and an eight, medium to high heat. Now I put my heat up high so that I can start cooking my veggies. Now I'm going to add my cilantro and I'm going to give it a good stir. And guys, I'm making this today with chuletas with fried poi chops. Um, and I'm also going to be making some frozen um, black beans that I had from last week. I froze while we didn't finish. So I'm making that on the side today, but you don't need the beans. I'm making it because I don't want this couple coming home um, from work and seeing yellow rice and asking me where's the beans they you don't make beans so that's why i'm doing it my kids might not even eat the beans um and i'm making the chuletas the pork chops you don't even need pork chops with this this is like a really inexpensive meal this is good it's delicious um so you can just make this and serve it with some vegetables on the side or a nice salad or just aguacate, avocado. All right guys, add one tablespoon to your pot. And, oh, I'm sorry, the salsa tomate, um, tomato sauce. Then I'm going to add four envelopes of the um, ham 
bouillon ham flavoring. And I'm making five cups of rice, okay? So just keep that in mind. And I'm gonna add my frozen corn to this. Here I have five cups of long grain rice that I gave a good rinse to. And I measure exactly five cups, guys. All right, let's give it a good stir. All right, so I measured six cups of rice, I mean, of water. I'm going to allow this to come to a boil and then um, I'll taste it at that point and see if I need to adjust adjust my um, my seasoning. Okay. All right guys, I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to add about one teaspoon of garlic powder. Should have said. <laughs> I'm gonna add some of my sour total. About a tablespoon as well. Good mix. And make sure your stove is at a high heat. Guys, I decided to add some olives to it, so I'm just gonna add um, one of these big um, spoons, like about maybe three spoons full without the juice. My boys are complaining, mommy, why you put rice, I mean olives in the rice. I like it. I'm not going to put that much, but that should be good. And then I'll mix it. So you need the olives in the rice, guys. If you don't want to add the olives, you don't have to. <laughs> I will just let it do its thing. Huh. I thought I had the camera. I was showing you that. And that's what I'm eating. Yeah, same. That I started taking these vitamins um, for energy, immune system, bone, and immune support. And you guys always know I take a multivitamin um, along with the other vitamins that I take. Um, but I decided to get this brand. I got it from Walmart. Men's. Yeah, and then I got this one for Paul. MPJ. MPJ. Um, it's basically the same thing in muscle support. Um, and then I got this one for the um, Gigi and Joey, um, the Flintstones. And I always give the kids uh, a multivitamin throughout the winter because we're school and everything. But um, I got another bottle because like everything it. going on, they need it. She doesn't really care for it. The boys will take it. Booty, I think, is taking the men one. And then Joey and her are taking the Flintstone. So, guys, stay healthy, guys. And drink lots of water. The only thing I ever put in here is water. Nothing else goes in here. Well, I only drink water all day, and this is why. That's why she always goes to the bathroom. Because <laughs> I drink water all day long. This thing gets filled, I can't even tell you how many times. Oh. We're going to give our rice a mix at this point before we cover it. I'm gonna cover my rice with a banana leaf, but um, you don't have to um, cover yours with a banana leaf if you don't want to. I just like, it gives it a, you know, a hint of um, like pateles to me, like platanos. I love it. Okay, at this point, turn your stove down to medium, to low to medium heat. So I put always mice between three and four. I don't rush the rice. My banana leaves. With well, everything going on, I was happy I found my banana leaves when I was stocking up on food with all this quarantine stuff. Um, yes, I did. I bought me two um, packs of um, banana, frozen banana leaves. I 
I gotta get my tapa, my lid, and then we're good to go. Okay, and we'll let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. Alrighty, now on to the next step. So I wanted to show you guys, this is my frozen black beans. I put it in my um, little pot on medium heat, and I'm just, I cleaned out this bowl, and I'm just adding some water just to start um, the cooking process. And if you need to adjust your seasonings, you can. Normally, I don't ever have to. It all just blends in beautifully. <laughs> but yeah, this is okay, what so it So I like. just wanna show you quickly my pork chops. Ugh. Okay, so. Okay, so these are my pork chops, um, and I'm going to give it a mix. Let me see if I can do this because I'm holding my phone with the one hand. I'm going to just give it a quick flip and just um, put the ones that were on the top on the bottom. This down here is vinegar. When I make my pork chops, I like to season them up. Make sure you can see. I like to season them up with um, some sazon, garlic powder, adobo, and some pepper, and that's it. And then I let them sit in the vinegar, or sometimes lemon juice, but I prefer vinegar, until I'm ready to fry them. It's kind of like a marinade. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over and fry them. Whenever I fry anything, I always use one of my old pots. I don't use my good pots for frying. So this is what you get. And I'm just going to just put enough oil just to coat the bottom of my pan. I decided to use today regular um, vegetable oil. You know, normally I use olive oil, but with everything going on, I don't want to use up um, all the olive oil that I have. So that's why I'm gonna use regular cooking oil okay, for this. Start adding our pork chops. I'm gonna put my stove down at a seven. That's like medium to high heat. And we're gonna fry them for about five minutes on, the, on this side. It's been eight minutes. And this is what we got. It should have been five. Because normally I'm like, I do five minutes, but it was eight. And um, I'll keep these on this side for about four minutes. Okay, guys, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to put them on this cutting board and this paper towel to drain and then I'll go on to the next one. And I'll be back once all the pork chops are fried. All right guys, I just wanna show you my beans. I didn't add anything to them. I taste them, they taste delicious. You see they're already nice and thick. So the water did not make them watery whatsoever, okay? I'm gonna let them cook for probably five more minutes. And cause the last piece of of uh, frozen beans just broke apart but you see they're just like i made them last week all right guys so my rice is done look how beautiful it looks delicious the pork chops are delicious i want to try the rice so it's ready to go I'll find the last two pork chops now. It's here. Mm. So the black beans are ready. You see they didn't get watery at all. They're nice and thick. And that's the rice. I'm going to try. spider girl. <laughs> ah, be careful, you're gonna burn your mouth. That's good. All right. So let me start making plates. 
All right, guys, so this is my plate, my rice, aguacate, oh, chuleta, pork chop with pique sauce, which is a must have for me. My beans, and it's delicious. I will be having it with some, yes, pink wine. Guys, I decided to sit down and have dinner with you because my kids ate. Paul's not here. He's in Maryland with um, Papi Pablo. They're doing a delivery and yeah, everybody else say, except Gigi. Yeah, because I'm doing my- She ate that pork chop. That's what she ate, her pork chop. I'll come on here and talk to you guys. I was just talking to my cousin Angela, right? And she was like, I don't know what else to watch on Netflix. I already watched everything. I'm just watching Dr. Doolittle. I feel that's the little, little, yeah. Oh, uh, I told her to go watch um on Hulu. If you guys have Hulu, go over and watch. Um, I'm gonna post it in in um in comments and pin it. Little fires. I started watching that series. It's a good series, but I stopped watching it because. There were certain parts that started being like too much for Gigi to watch. And even though she's not sitting there, or she's coming out the room, she's still watching it. So that's why I haven't finished watching it. And you guys already saw my plate and what I'm eating, right? So that was, that's a good series. I just started getting to the good part. So. I'm excited to watch it. And you guys saw that I had made um, a review on the um, new Alexa show that I got. So I'm pretty sure if you saw my video from Saturday where we cooked out, that you still have the Alexa in the kitchen over the sink. Now, I love that I have it in the kitchen. I love that it's over the sink because I've gotten to watch um, a lot of my YouTube subscriber people I'm subscribed to, so now it's a lot easier because it's on the show. I don't have to worry about my phone ringing or someone texting or something. But the only problem that I'm having with that is that to leave a comment, then I have to open up the keyboard, go up there and type, and I don't do that. So well, now, I've been watching everybody's videos two times. Yeah. <laughs> two times. So that I can leave a comment. I don't cry. But. Um, so I just want to talk about shows. Because I need some new shows to watch. There was one of my subscribers. And I can't remember the name of the series. Oh. So the last time. I feel like you guys can't see me. So the last time, um, I think it was like a month ago, I posted on their, um, I posted on the, my community board, you know, about Netflix, because I want everybody to go watch um, Cable Girls. I even told my cousin Angela about that, and she's like into like shows. She watches like the best stuff ever, and she freaking fell in love with it from... When I posted that, somebody posted, I don't remember who, she posted that I should watch um, Self Made. So, I watched Self Made, guys. That series was such a freaking good series. Is that kind of, this? is that series? Where you just want to watch it like the whole time. Like the kids get out of my room, shut the door, grab some wines, and have some hummus and some chips and cheese and, gu and guava paste, and we good. That's how good it was. Self-made was such, you know, taught me some stuff as being a business owner. 
and it motivated me, you know, to some extent. Because sometimes all business owners, we get into that funk where we lose our motivation and stuff. Guys, I'm looking hella crappy today, but this is me. You know, I come to you pretty, come to you looking cray cray sometimes. It's just my mode. So self-made was excellent. So thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure who referred me, but like I said, thank you so much for referring me because I freaking loved it. Um, I told my cousin about it. She had already washed it and didn't tell me. And then, um, okay, so what other show? So, you guys know from prior videos, I talked about my man, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry is my man. My daughter's saying all this, you know, but that's my man. I'm just saying, he is. Paul knows about this. It's not a secret. So he's probably watching the video. He already know. That's my puppy, Chucho. Okay, one of them, because I have another one, too. <laughs> my daughter's laughing. She's like, my mother's crazy. Um, I know. I know. Who? 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 <laughs> she's a happy doodle. <laughs> She already know who he is. You see that? Um, I went all the way to Puerto Rico to see him. But I love Tyler Perry. My favorite Tyler Perry movies are the Medeas. And I'm so upset, honestly, that he won't be making them anymore. Because those are... There's not one Medea movie that I don't like. Because I freaking like all of them. I really do Oh, the Halloween. So I get up to turn on the light and I go that way. Julia's like, Mom, there's a switch right behind you. I'm like, I'm such an airhead. I forget. I've never used that when I, for some reason, I go to that one. Yeah, when he said he wasn't doing any more um, Medea movies, I was highly upset. Because I love them all. I love every single, I love all his movies, all his shows. So, now, does anyone here watch? The had to have nuts. Mm, that show. That show is off the hook. I first started watching that show by myself. <clears throat> then, Big Papa, when he comes to bed, he has no choice, right? Because he normally watches whatever I want. He's not a pain. Plus, by the time he gets to bed, he's already falling asleep. I tell you, he must last in bed like the max is like 15 minutes. <laughs> right, Mayling? Yeah. And that's why he doesn't hassle me. He doesn't hassle me on, you know, oh, I want to watch this or that or the other. Because he only lasts like 15 minutes in the bed anyway. But anyways, for that show, the half man have not, honey. He got addicted to that show. He was ready. And now, because now it's a, a, the, the new one came out, he'd be ready to watch it. If Loving You Is Wrong is on. That series, If Loving You Is Wrong, oh my God, I love that series. I make this for, for um, in art class, they're making me do a superhero. I'm making this picture because this is going to be my superhero. I'm not showing your face. Because. She's natural. Her hair, um, she washed it last night because she was in the trampoline yesterday. Because Joey cleaned it out, so we played on the trampoline together. Yeah, but she still have, um, had hair leaves. leaves in her hair. So I had to wash my hair. Yeah. yeah goodbye. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. To the next one. Stay safe and God bless. She's good at drawing. That's her thing. She's really good at drawing. I told she should have a... She has a sketchbook. But I told she should have, like, keep all her drawings. That way, as she grows up, she sees, like, the difference. So, let me know 
in comments if any of you is like if loving you is wrong. When that show came back, I was so freaking happy. And let me know if there's any Netflix shows that you guys have watched. Because now it seems like every time I go on Netflix, not that I mind, I don't mind because I enjoy actually watching them. But they have all these series and all these movies about, you know, um, the world getting attacked, either nuclear or, or virus or by water. So, yeah, that's all you see now. And like I said, I don't mind watching it, but it's like people are already paranoid. What are you doing putting all these shows on TV? I do watch Preppers, though. Oh, no, it's called Doomsday on Netflix. Doomsday Preppers. <laughs> I told you that PJ told me a long time ago that I should start prepping, right? And I should have listened. <laughs> Because times like this is when you need to prep. No, when you should be already ready, set. Then I have to run to the store looking for toilet paper. Mm -mm. So, I watched All American. I'm trying to think what other... my daughter's into the greenhouse academy for those of you guys have kids but i watched it where well, it's actually really good what was that other um movie we saw gia Which one? um diane Di raising diane raising diane you have to watch that show it's so cool uh-huh if you have kids that's perfect like family show to watch I watched it with G and I enjoyed it. So, watch that. And then, what else do we did? It's another movie. If you guys watch any series, I have, my, I have like regular TV shows that I, I watch. Like I love my big, fat, fabulous wife. Um, wife. My big, fat, fabu fabulous life. I love that show. I do watch the 90 Day um, Fiance. Um, I like shows like that. I like um, The First or The Last Frontier. I love that show. The Last Different. Mm-hmm. The Last Different, yeah. Um... What other shows do I watch? I do like Teen Mom. Only because I was been watching them like for such a long time. So I do like, but no, I don't watch the new ones. I watch the OGs. And what else do I watch? I watch, uh, Housewife of New Jersey. And I like the Housewives of Atlanta as well. So I do watch those two. The other ones I don't really care for. Um, I'm trying to think what else I watch. And I'm letting you guys know this because I need some recommendations. I do watch a lot of... Um, Lifetime movies. I love um, Lifetime. And I like the Hallmark Channel. I love ID. I love any kind of like murder mystery. I like um, watching stuff like that just do. I can't, that's the way I like to watch that. Um, I don't know, I like... Um, I like all of them. I like Little Women Atlanta. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions.
because I feel like I'm running out of things to watch. All American, I'm done. I think I have one more season. Paul already finished it without me. There's a new one coming out on the 10th. Oh, okay. Gigi, no, she was like, a new one's coming out on the 10th. There are some other shows. I have to write them down. This video was like off the top of my head. Um, I didn't plan to make it. Or oh, I would at least wrote down what I what I saw. But I'm going to do that. Um, but there was a couple of movies I seen already that were really, really good. I just can't remember the name. So, the day before yesterday, I made bread for the first time. And I let it sit overnight. And then in the morning, um, I got up and finished it. I made two loaves of bread. It was freaking, let me tell you, when the bread came out in the middle, it was so moist. And it was freaking delicious. As soon as it came out, I cut it. I took the butter and I put butter over it. It was melting right there on the bread. That bread was like heaven. Oh my God. And I made two loaves, right? So everybody had, everybody had bread. Um, Paul came home yesterday. He cut into the bread he had. It was already cold by then, but it was still so soft and moist. So he had bread. So there was still a loaf left. So I said, I don't care because I had planned to cut it and make French toast for them in the morning with it, right? But yesterday before dinner, there was half, there was, uh, one was gone already. One loaf was gone. Then there was a half of the other loaf left. So I said, all right. So at first, I, I said, you know what? I'll make some French toast with it. There was no bread left. When I got up this morning, all the bread was gone. There was no bread left. So... I know that the only ones that eat at night is the boys. Yeah. <laughs> it is because they are playing Xbox and eating everything in the freaking house. I only eat like chips. Your chips, your veggie sticks? Yeah. <laughs> so. And coffee. Huh? And coffee. Mm. She loves her takis. So I told um, Booty this morning, I'm like, I said, Booty, I said, I thought I was going to wake up to bread. There was like zero bread this morning. And he was like, oh, it was so good. He said, but when I went to bed, there was a couple of pieces, honey. When I woke up, there was no bread left. Which I don't care. So anyway, that's what I was planning to do now, was make some bread. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. The food gave me the itis. I'm ready for a shower and bed. And today's Wednesday, so my show is on. And we don't have school tomorrow or Thursday. The kids don't have online school tomorrow, which is Thursday or Friday um, because of the Jewish holiday. But they took spring break away from them. Did they take um, spring break away from your kids? Which is, it's nuts to me because I know they did it to the um, the kids in the city. But then like um, two towns over from me, they, they're on spring break right now. Oh, I don't get it. I'm ready for all this whole Corona thing to be over. I am enjoying it to a certain extent because I have all the kids here. And even though they drive me crazy, including the oldest ones. I enjoy having everybody in the house. So I am grateful for that. So that's one thing that I am happy for. That we're all here. We're all healthy. The only one that's really going out is Paul. Other than that, like I said, everybody else has been staying in the house. Paul left, I mean, PJ left today um, to help Paul work. But other than that, he's been here too. So I am grateful. And even though my kids drive me crazy, 
I do enjoy having them all here. I do enjoy having a full house and I wouldn't have it no other way. So with that said, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for tuning in on this cook with me and a little mukbang, a little chit chat. And if there's any movies that you guys are watching or any series that you recommend, flood my comment area. And I'll do, that's how you say comment area? comment section down below yeah 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 flood my comment section down below let me know any even if you don't have netflix or hulu it's regular tv if there's anything on there that you like please let me know because i'm running out of stuff to watch and um and talk amongst with each other about anything that you like any series you like or don't like feel free to use the comment section to chit chat and um and we need that at this time right now um yeah and with that said thanks again for tuning in it's simply nana we're crafting cooking isa song gg yeah. say bye. bye she's saying bye she has like this whole art thing over there set up i'm going to show you guys in a minute but to the next videos my love stay safe god bless to the next one what are you doing there miss making my project i use she has all her markers out and i have this big thing that dad got me and it has like all these like crayons and like paints and stuff and you can even lift it up like from the sides um and then you can put the paints and brushes on nice little her little art studio.